Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the videos of organic name reactions. I have done several videos on the organic name reactions. You can see the playlist of organic name reaction. Okay, so these videos are now on the demand. If you have any more name reactions topic, you can suggest me. Okay, so in this lecture, we are studying about she epoxidation. See here, she epoxidation is actually a method of asymmetric epoxidation. She epoxidation is actually a method of the asymmetric epoxidation and basically there are three different methods for the asymmetric epoxidation. One I have told you that is Jacobson epoxidation. Okay. And I think you have seen this video. Okay. And second one was the Sharpless asymmetric epoxidation. And third one that you are watching here is the she epoxidation. So when we will use she epoxidation? When you have given an unfunctionalized alkene. Okay. Unfunctionalized alkene and basically it is used for trans di or tri substituted alkenes. Whenever you have given such type of alkenes. Okay. And you have to prepare RR type of epoxide. Then you will use the she epoxidation. Okay. So I think now it is clear where you have to use the she epoxidation. Whenever you have given trans di or tri substituted alkene and you have to prepare RR epoxide. Then you will use the she epoxidation. Okay. So what is happening here? See here. Suppose this is our alkene. This is unfunctionalized trans alkene. Okay. And when you are using here she catalyst, I will tell you what is she catalyst. Firstly, see here reaction. So, when this trans alkene is treated with she catalyst in the presence of oxone and H2O and methyl cyanide, and when the pH is between 7 to 8, then this alkene will get oxidized. To epoxide. Okay, and the stereochemistry is very much important because here you are getting R R type of product. Okay, this is the only product that you are getting. Okay, so when you want R R type of product, you will use she epoxidation. Now see here, what is this she catalyst? She catalyst is actually a defructose derived ketone okay what is this structure see here this is basically like this this is called she catalyst okay this one is she catalyst and you can see this keto group you see this keto group is basically between two chiral centers okay so this is very much important thing so this is the why that you are getting the rr type of stereo specific product okay Oxones. What are oxones? Actually, oxones that we are using here is KHSO5, KHSO4, K2SO4. This is oxone. Okay. See here, C catalyst is prepared from D fructose in the two steps. The first step is the ketalization of D fructose. This one is D fructose. We can make D fructose in this manner. These are the OH groups below the plane and this is above the plane. Okay. This is the structure of D fructose. Now in first step what is happening? This is treated with a ketone in the presence of SClO4. Okay. So its ketalization is happening. It means this thing will remain as it is. Okay, here this is OH group, this is remaining as it is. Now here this is O, this is O and in this way. This group is producing here. Similarly, here O of the OH group and this is the O and again here a ketal group is producing. So there are two ketal groups. Okay, now in the next step. We are doing the oxidation of this OH group. This OH group is being oxidized by PCC, Pyridium Chlorochromate. 
okay so as a result you are getting here in this manner you are getting here keto group okay and the rest thing is remain as it is these are the ketal groups okay this will remain as it is okay so this is our c catalyst now how this c catalyst is working and how this epoxidation process is happening it means what is the mechanism of this whole process see here first of all see this is our c catalyst we are representing the c catalyst in this manner these are the two r groups or ketal groups okay and this is the o group between these two ketal groups now in the first step what is happening there is the oxidation of ca catalyst with the help of oxone this one is our oxone s double bond o double bond o o minus o oh okay this is oxone so we have to do the oxidation and with the oxidation what is happening the oxone adds to ketone group on the catalyst it means in this manner this was the keto group okay here was the keto group here a oh group is produced and in this manner this oxone get add okay the nucleophilic addition leads to the sulfate intermediate okay now what is happening this oh minus enter okay and h2o will leave as a result we are getting o minus here and o o fo3 now this so4 minus 2 it means sulfate group will leave out okay and we are getting here a ring closer ring closer in this manner this is called dioxirane this is dioxirane okay now this dioxirane derivative will produce the asymmetric oxidation of alkenes it means this is our alkene r r r this is alkene okay and this or dioxirane will react with this alkene okay and as a result of this this alkene is converted to the epoxide in this manner here a epoxide is produced like this okay and this oxirane is again converts to our catalyst this is the catalyst c catalyst okay so now we can use again this c catalyst for the whole process in this way the cycle goes on okay so this is the complete mechanism of c epoxidation but you does not need the mechanism you should know about the stereochemistry and what the product we are getting and when we have to use the c catalyst okay so c epoxidation is basically used for the trans alkenes unfunctionalized alkenes and di and tri substituted trans alkenes okay and the product that we are getting is rr10 always okay so this thing you should remember and uh, other things you can skip okay so this is all about the she epoxidation meets you in the next video with some more new reactions if you have some more suggestions you can comment me if you want some more type of videos you can comment me and if you are liking my videos please comment us Please share the videos please subscribe the channel thank you